Hi and welcome to Gina Hardy Yoga. Enjoy your next video. Namaste. Welcome to this short yoga class on how you can loosen up a stiff back and keep your spine nice and healthy and flexible. Let's start in Balasana, on our knees and child's posture. Just breathing, relaxing, take as long as you like here. And now inhaling and coming up onto our right foot and inhale the arms over your head. Taking hold of the left wrist in the right hand, stretching up, drawing the belly muscles in and coming over to the right. And then take your left hand next to your right foot and doing a spinal twist, lift out of the standing shoulder. Try not to lock the standing elbow and continue to breathe deeply. Allow your body to follow your breath. Coming into a lunge, you draw the back leg backwards, stretching the top of the back thigh and once more coming into a twist, slightly deeper this time. Main thing here is here to really look after the spine, particularly the lower spine, by breathing, contracting the tummy muscles and using the pelvic floor. Next, coming on to all fours. Doing some cat and cow stretches here, inhaling, looking forward, dipping in the middle of the spine, exhaling, coming up into cat, really relax here arching the upper back and making the movement as long and as deep as you can just to keep the back flexible. Coming up onto the opposite foot and repeating that same sequence the other side. Taking the right wrist in the left hand, breathe in, reach up and come over to the left side. Move with your breath. Prepare on the inhale and exhale, move. And twisting in the opposite side. And coming into a lunge on that side. Drawing the back leg back as far as you can to get a good stretch on the top of the hip. Lunges are fantastic for opening the pelvis. And once more taking a twist. Spinal twists like wringing out a wet towel. It really does encourage the spine to move one way and then the other, plumping the discs. And then move through and up into Cobra and exhale as you come up, lift the chin. Try not to lock the elbows and have the inner elbows facing forward. Now coming up onto our knees, remembering in Ustrasana camel posture to really push some weight into the back of the tops of the feet and the shins. This is a back bend, so look after your neck and back as you come back, drawing the shoulders back, inhaling and exhaling, and stay here as long as you like. Remember in these videos you can always pause and do a few more breaths whenever you need. Counter posture to the spine, come back into Balasana. Flexibility of the spine is good too, bend the spine one way and then the other. And once more come up into Ustrasana. You can flatten the top of the feet to the floor if you want to go back a little bit deeper. As you breathe, push the sternum, the front of the top of the chest, towards the front of the room. And allow your head to drop back carefully and easily. Always listening to your body. If any pain shows up anywhere, please back off. Listen and just breathe until you feel like moving again. And once more back down into Balasana, the counter posture to Ustrasana. 
Now the strengthening spine posture and using side flexion is Parigasana, the gait. Standing on the right knee, extending the left leg, the left heel in alignment with the right knee. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, take the left hand softly down onto the left side of the shin or thigh. And then after a few breaths, you can lower the right hand to the floor. You can keep the foot down or you can raise the left foot up, depending on your level. Go to where you feel is good. And let's come to the other side and do the same thing. The hand that touches the thigh, make sure that it's a light touch and not forcing weight down. Again, really important with side flexion of the spine. Zip that belly button back towards your spine and engage your pelvic floor. Really lift the pelvic floor. Variations, you can keep this foot down on the floor, so the right foot can be left down on the floor, or you can lift. And let's come to standing. We're coming into Trikonasana, one of the more core Hatha yoga postures. Again, side flexion of the spine. Keep the front leg straight. And coming into reverse trikonasana, twisting the spine the opposite way. The main thing here is to really draw the belly button in and engage the pelvic floor. Keep an eye on my posture tip videos of how to do trikonasana and reverse trikonasana properly. There's lots to learn in each of these postures. And now coming into a wide leg forward bend. Again, being careful here to really watch your back, your lower back. Picking up the big toes and inhaling, exhale, the surrender breath. It's always about movement on the surrender breath. Being mindful to slowly do it in your yoga posture and really, your postures and really enjoy just being here. You can breathe as many times as you want, stop the video whenever you want and just do a little bit more in each of these postures. During Trikonasana and reverse Trikonasana, triangle posture. Coming back to a wide leg forward bend. walk one hand towards the opposite side foot and lifting the other arm up and doing a spine twist here. Again being mindful to look after your back and if you can't reach the floor you can always grab a block or a cushion to put your lower hand on. Listening to the back is key here. Now heel toeing the feet back up and rolling up to standing. Inhaling the arms up, let's come into half moon posture, Ardha Chandrasana. Side flexion of the spine works on the oblique muscles either side of the belly that run vertically from the ribs down to the pelvis. Inhale, draw the belly in and pelvic floor, exhale, come over to one side and then the other. You can do this as many times as you like. Now we're going to come into Uttanasana, standing forward bend. I always like here, my favourite way of doing Uttanasana is to get my tummy onto my thighs. Really important here to support the lower back, allow your tummy to sink onto your thighs and pick up around the back of the legs. Exhale, lengthen the legs, inhale, prepare to move. So you can straighten and lengthen the hamstrings. But remembering here to use the tummy muscles and your pelvic floor. Moving forward into Phalankasana. And then coming up into Cobra. Or Up Dog is with the pelvis off the floor, depending on how flexible your spine feels. 
listen to your body all the way. Now coming to lie on your back, engage your knees into your chest and just roll the spine a couple of times. Lying on your back and then draw your arms out at shoulder height and coming into a twist. Drawing your knees to the left, this universal simple twist is lovely to do. You can stay here as long as you like, one side and then the other. So as your knees come to one side, the opposite shoulder stays down if you can. Listening to the spine, so you'll know how much spine is willing to give. If you just listen and use the exhale breath to really surrender to your twist. Hugging the knees in finally, draw your nose up towards your knees and then lengthening each leg. Coming back into Savasana for a few minutes meditation, relaxation. Breathe and rest. Hope you enjoyed that. Please don't forget to subscribe and I'd love to hear your comments.